Welcome to Better Every Day, your source of information in matters of self-improvement, health, motivation, and self-help. Hello and nice to see you again. If you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you can be updated of the latest videos which might be of help to your self-improvement. First, open your Google. Now we are here at Google. I will teach you on how to create an account and how to sign in. You can see at the upper right corner the sign in button. This means we haven't signed in yet. Let's click it. If you don't have a Gmail account yet, you have to create one. Press the button create account. Here, we have two options for myself or to manage my business. We have to select for myself because this is a personal Gmail account. Fill in the needed information. Your first and last name, username, and password. And once you are done, click next. Type your phone number and once you're done, click Next. Google will send you a verification code. Enter the code and click Verify. And that's how you make a Gmail account. But since we already have one, we don't need to create any more. Here, you have to type your email or phone number. Then, Click Next. Now let's type the password and click Next. Now that we already signed in, we will see the logo or icon of our Gmail account at the upper right corner. After we signed into Google, we can go to Google Classroom by typing classroom.google com in the search bar. And now we are here at Google Classroom. We can see this arrow pointing to the plus sign. And when we click the button, we can see two options, join class and create class. Since you are a student, you have to join a class. So let us click the join class button. Now we are requested to enter the class code given by our teacher. As you can see, our class code is WM5UB24, and we have to type it here. Now let's click Join. Now, we have already joined the class, and right now, we are at the Stream tab. This is where the teacher uploads announcements. As you can see, we have a few announcements here. You can add a comment on a post only if your teacher allowed you to. You can also post an announcement, but again, only if your teacher allowed you to. At the left side is this section where you can see the due dates of the homeworks. As you can see here, it says due tomorrow. Next tab is the Classwork tab. In this tab, you can see all the files that has been uploaded by your teacher. As you can see, there are two colors of the icons next to the files. The gray icon means that you already opened the file or answered the assignment given to you, while the green icon means that you need to answer the assignment given. For example, you have to answer this question. Let's click View Question. As you can see here, you can comment if you want to share something with your class about the question. And here at the right side is where you type your answer. After answering, you can now click Turn In so that your teacher can see it. Below that box where you just type your answer 
is where you can leave a private comment and only your teacher will see it. Here you can ask something regarding to the question itself. So now, since we are done answering, we can click Turn In. Next, we have this assignment. Let's click it and click View Assignment. Here you can see the points you can get from the assignment and here is when the due date is. Below that is where you can post a comment and the whole class can read it. At the right side is where you add or create files for your homework. You can get your file from Google Drive, you can put a link, or you can get your file from your computer. Another option is to create a file using Google Docs, similar to Microsoft Word, Google Slides, similar to Microsoft PowerPoint, Google Sheets, similar to Microsoft Excel, and Google Drawings. Below that is where you can type a private comment only for your teacher to see. So going back to our assignment, our teacher gave us an instruction to create it on Google Docs. So we have to click Add and then choose Google Docs. Here in the blank space is where you should type your answers to the question. So let's say you already finished answering the worksheet. At the upper right corner, it says that the changes has been saved to the drive. We just have to go back to the classroom. And here, we already have our created document. And once you're done, just click Turn In. So next is the People tab. This is where you can see your classmates and who your teacher is. We are very thankful that you reached the end of this video. Share it to your friends so that they will also know how to use Google Classroom. That's it for now. Goodbye!